I'm not going to talk for very long. Good, good. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd say that. But uh, it does just behove us to do something formal to open the church, and I've been asked to say a few words. When you do a project like this, you need quite a number of people. First of all, you need a vicar to initiate and encourage it. Step forward, Sarah, please. <laughs> Secondly, when she's got fed up with us and she moves on to South Wales, <laughs> you, you need another vicar who's also supportive and prepared to encourage and help us to get through. And that's Anne. Step forward, Anne. <laughs> you need a PCC to initiate and support. You need supportive parishioners, of course. You need Friends of Peter Stowe, a parish council, societies and fundraisers. And that all leads to needing a parish community project committee. And we've got many members of that. But Liz yes, is the chairman of it. Step forward, Liz. And is Harry here? No. I don't think he is, is he? No. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, then we need someone to approach, befriend, charm... <laughs> not be put off by mountains of forms and paperwork, who's capable of unlocking funds from both Hereford Council and the National Lottery. Unfortunately, we have a person like that. Step forward, Pat. <laughs> we need an architect who I hope you will agree can blend the exciting new into the essence and spirit of centuries. Now, Rob's not here today. He's on holiday, but uh, I think Peter Taylor will be joining us later on, but isn't here at the moment. We need a builder, and I don't think he's here either yet. George he's is coming. He's George is definitely soon. coming. Well, I'm gonna, I've got something for George later on anyway. Uh, but a builder who can do everything. <laughs> work around everyone who has a sense of humour, which he saw, sorely needed at times, who sets high standards, which he certainly did, and really cared about the building that he was working on. We needed helpers from the diocese to lead us through that labyrinth, and Wendy and Paul, who are also not here this afternoon, were a tremendous help in finding our way through all of that. We needed a professor of law to craft a letting contract. And John Wiley was that man. And I don't is John here this afternoon? No, I'm the lines are playing. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, we needed two hard working church wardens and a prudent treasurer. Step forward, Jill. Step forward, Peter. And is Sarah... I'm here. You are? Come and join us, Sarah. Yes. Right. Now, Graham. Can I say we also needed a project manager, and that yes. was Max. Yes. 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 Graham, come and hold the ribbon one end. I will hold it the other. And then as many of these good people as can possibly get their hands on the scissors, I'm going to ask... <laughs> you. Sarah, I'm going to ask right. you to actually hold the scissors and do right. the cutting. Right. We're going to come here. Come out, Pat. Right. Come the right side oh, of the right. ribbon. Okay. Graham and I are going to hold the ribbon. This side. That's it, yeah. All right. Okay. We're out of the picture. We're out of the picture. <laughs> right, gather forward, everybody. As many as possible, get your hands on the scissors. We've got to hold, hold the scissors, right. Okay. Yeah. Can I just say it's a really great privilege to be here this afternoon. You know, this started in November 2003, and that was when the vision started, and I'm really very grateful to be invited back today for the culmination of the project. So thank you all very, very much indeed. Thank you for coming. Right, Sarah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, we're delighted to be at uh, St Peter's Church in Peterstow today as um, it's been a grand reopening of what was once just a church. It's now a much more versatile venue for the benefit of the whole community. I'm speaking now here to the project manager, Max. Max, can you tell us when this all started? Well, I wasn't involved when it started, so uh, I have to declare my hand there, but it started four and a half years ago, yes, of that yes, order. Yes. Um, and uh, it started as the way these things do with an idea, yeah. um, and a group of people starting to look at how it could be done, and it ebbed and flowed. It had its high points, and it certainly had some low points along the way, when funds were perhaps coming and then not coming, and various other things. We had a, an outline scheme, yeah. which the architect had done, but it wasn't finally confirmed that we had got funding until... Last July. July last, last year. July. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then finally, finally, we got underway in February this year. Wow, and all that work done between February and now? Yes. 
It's absolutely fantastic. Yes, and uh, well, speaking of funding, I mean, Pat, Pat, you were the one that wrote to the National Lottery and the Council and various other I bodies. I did, I did. I, I volunteered to be fundraiser, and um, <laughs> actually one of the other gentlemen on the committee did the Hereford Council application, yeah. um, because there is reams and reams and reams of paperwork. Um, I did DEFRA to start with, and that one we lapsed out of time, and community building schemes came on track, which was very fortunate yeah. that we were at that time where anybody now won't get funding at all because of the lottery until yeah. after 2012 uh, there is no more funding from the lottery for community projects which is oh, a shame but we were lucky and uh, I had a meeting here in the church with our grants officer last May and he virtually indicated to me then that we were going to be given a grant but it was absolute secret until the 25th of July last yes. year yeah. and I, he phoned me up on the 25th of July and said yes you're okay and so I was able to tell everybody on the committee then. That's absolutely um, wonderful. And it's, it's all been superb, but we now have 10 years of monitoring for the lottery. But yes, never mind, I suppose it'll get easier as it goes else. along, yes. yes. But you yes. have a strong community here in Peterstow, though, don't you? I mean, I was having a brief look at the yes. figures and the amount yes. that's actually been raised by, by the church Ooh, and the parishioners and the absolutely. community. They absolutely, they do. Absolutely staggering. Yep. Yes. Yes, it is. And that was a key factor in getting the grant, wasn't it? Was. It? it was. Because if we had not been yes. able to put in a significant amount of money of our own, they would have been less enthusiastic, I think, wouldn't they? Uh, yeah. Yes, they would. They think it's a very um, value for money project because we didn't have a, a village hall or meeting place at all. Yeah. They were very keen that we should have it. Um, the fact that we were willing to raise, it's only a very small village of 351 people. Yes. Um, uh, it went very much in our favour. Yes. Yeah. yes. That's absolutely wonderful. And now Peter Stowe is available for use from the community. I think there's going to be a lunch club. Yes. And uh, All sorts it's of things. open for meetings. Meetings and small yes. parties and yes. things like that. Yes. We'll put the contact details on the, on the pages of Why Not. Yes. You know, that would be Marvelous. lovely. People from all walks of life will get the benefit yes. now of this new refurbishment. Well, let me congratulate you all you. on uh, doing such a fantastic job. When I walked thank in you. there, I just couldn't believe it. It's a big oh, wow really factor. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. It thank is. You. Thanks very much. Thank you.